Hello, this is the Roguelite Rider, and I'm going to be installing the accessory switches for the right or throttle side. Part number is 7140129. This is the kit right here. This is if you want to add switches to add your own accessories to the Harley. It makes it easier because it's pre-wired for the setup. And I'll show you how it works. Now the wiring bundle is pretty much straightforward. You have plugs that a relay and plugs that plug these two plug directly into existing connectors on the Harley. And this gives you an accessory plug and runs two switches. This right here plugs into accessories the Harley sells and it's for two amps or lower amperage. And this is to be able to wire in through the relay power up, up to, to 20 10 amps. amps. It's 20 amp fuse in the Harley wiring. So you can wire up heaters, seats, things like this, things that you want to wire in. The advantage of this is the Harley sells a plug that gives you wiring. You can wire up your LED lights, things like this. Now, there's only one other wire that is not in there. You have to add in, that's this one right here. And this one connects directly to the battery and goes into a plug that this plugs into. This way you have direct fused, it's got a fuse right here, a fused wire to run the accessories through the relay. Anyway, I'll show you how to get the wire switch installed in the dash. Now this is the switch. It's basically just a screw in, plugs into the standard accessory switch wiring under the dash. So let's get that installed. The first thing you're gonna do is to replace this is you take the little screwdriver, get it right there, pull it up a little bit, and this comes out Just like that. Now this gives you the room to pull out. Now on each side of this is a T20 screw on each side. And this comes up so you can get to it. It pulls right up and you can get underneath without having to take this switch out. Now behind it is the wiring for the dash the instruments, and these. There's little clips under here. I'm gonna disconnect the uh, wiring, and I'll show you. Now, the it comes off easier. If you turn this to the side like this, it'll come out real easy. You unplug the uh, instruments, two little tabs on each side, and you get to this. Now, this is the switch that I have for my spotlights and stuff. The release for it is right here on the side. So I can unplug it. Now the other side is more difficult to unplug. As you can see, the release for it is under here. So you can take these screws out and you can get to it real easy. And once you get those out, that's where the new switch housing goes. As you see, two screws, and this is the dummy plug that you take out. You take the new one and the switches go to the outside and you set it in. The advantage of this one is where this had the release on the inside, this is on the outside. Makes it easier to get on and off. So let's uh, get it screwed in there and we'll see it. One thing I will point out is there is a blank, and if you want to add an additional switch in there, you need to take switches out. These little silver pieces, you pull out just slightly, it'll release the switch, you can take it out. That's just a little extra tip for you in case you need to know. So let's get this installed. Now this is the plug that is used to power the accessory switches. It runs directly to the battery. 
and it's a, a power that's not used other than that. But I have a plug already in that set section that powers my cool flow fan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that single wire out of that connector and put it in the connector for the cool fan. And then we'll do it. Makes it easier. No cutting, no wiring. Everything is a plug and play. Now, the instructions call for plugging this wire to go from the battery to this pin. And this pin is to be placed into this plug where this blank is. So, to get it out, what you do is you take a small screwdriver, pop this out just a little bit to disengage, and then you go through this little hole right here, and when you get disengaged to this right here, take a pair of needle nose like this to pull it out when you release it with this. I'm going to do that right now. As you can see from the top of this, I took a small screwdriver, put it in here, popped it out just a little bit. Now I'm going from the top here with a small jeweler screwdriver and release the pin. You see I went with a small screw, jeweler screwdriver, pushed it in and pushed the pin out. That cleared the way for the wire. Now, this wire, just push this in there. You'll hear it click. And you press this down, it locks it in. This wire is the one going to the battery. It gives you ability to have power to your accessories. It's red, it goes to the battery for constant power. That is the one that is fused. And we run it through and get it to the battery. Okay, let's get that done. Now I've started to take the cover off to get to the battery, but in instructions, it tells you to make sure you disconnect your battery first. Now, if you're going to do that, make sure you take your main fuse out of the bike before you start to work on it. Now, one thing about it, make sure that you turn the bike on, let the alarm arm, uh, disarm, and then get ready because as soon as you turn it off before the alarm arm, arms, you pull the main battery out. This is especially true if you have the alarm system. If not, your alarm will start going off and because it does not require the main battery to run its own internal battery. So make sure you turn that off. Now I've disconnected the negative and the positive. I've ran the wires in through here. Now make sure you take the fuse out before you do anything else. You can put it back in. And of course this goes over and connects up to your positive. And it's ran right here where there's a lot of room. Now, one thing that surprised me was when I ran the wires for the uh, accessory switches. I was looking for everything on the side that I've been working on for the other plugs. But it turns out the 4A plug is a blank that is over here. And it's right there. And to get to it, I have the alarm system in there. You pull the alarm out. Lift this up, of course. Pop this up and pull the alarm out. Hang on a second. I should get it one hand. I gotta have two hands. Hang on, I'll be right back. There, I was able to get it. You pull the alarm out. You got a lot of room to run the wad the plug down here and plug it in. That was held on with just a little plug. It plugs in, and of course, it makes it nice because all your wires relays. And other things are up here anyway. Of course, you have this out of the way to get to the battery. And here's your relay. Accessory two wires. Accessory two plug is right here. Everything's up here anyway. So it's up out of the way. Now, we'll put the battery back in. It'll make it easy. I had to take the battery out anyway to make sure the wires are good. So we'll put the battery back in. Now... One thing will happen is when you first put your fuse back in, it'll come up with a I'll check engine start. light. It'll come up, and when you turn your ignition on, you turn the ignition on, it'll, and of course, even if you start it, your check engine will stay on. 
So what you do is you hold your trevometer light down, turn your ignition on. What it'll do is it'll come up and say diagnostic. That means you're in diagnostic mode. You press it once, it'll say ECM yes. Why? For yes. When that happens, you hit it one more time. See? Just tap it. It'll go through all the others and tell you other stuff is no. Diagnostic, yes. Hold it down. It'll come up, it'll say P1608C. That means it lost power. Okay, you hold it down. Once you have clear it, click it yes, clear. Let's go back. And see it cleared it now. When you turn it off, that means that uh, the uh, check engine light is going to be off now. You got to do that to clear your check engine light. And of course, I've got my in. I pulled this stuff over out of the way. The battery's back in there. And I got the plugs in there. I cable tied it up. I'm gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna tape this down. This is my for my this is for my uh fan. Cool cool flow fan. But I've got this cover out of the way. Don't forget the plug that plugs in here. And then the wires all have to run through this inside and come over here. And this is where 4A is. 4A is right there. So it's got to come through. This is part of the other stuff. I can put this back in there before I put my battery back in. Anyway, so we'll skip through this in a second. Well, this is the Rogue Glide Rider. I've got the accessory switches in. So. Now I just got to get accessories for it. Like I said, it's got uh, two sets of wires. Now, one thing I did learn is it's not a 20 amp on the uh, po the power goes directly to the battery. It's a 10 amp fuse, which is under the seat. Now it runs off a 20 amp fuse and a main breaker, the main circuit to the panel. So that's the thing about it. It's got a 10 amp fuse under the seat. I've got it arranged. So if I have to change the fuse, I take the seat off. It's right there. Now it's got a... Uh, Another plug that's there that can be used for Harley accessories that come with the plug, just a plug and play. But it's also got accessory two, which is the center plug. And that right there, it can be wired for anything. It runs off a relay and of course 10 amp fuse. It's used for things like heated seats or you wanna do a heated vest or heated pants, heated gloves, things like that. It'll run off a switch that you have right there on your dash. So, if you find these videos informative and you can use them, like it, please. It helps the algorithm for YouTube. That way they know it's useful and people can see it and use it. Uh, share it with anybody that uh, might have a question about it. One thing I did, I looked up and I didn't find any uh, videos showing how to install this light kit or switch kit uh, on the 2017 or later uh, touring models so maybe this helps showing where the wires are I had to experiment with it and look and dig and find now that you know maybe it'll make it a little easier for you uh, like I said share it subscribe if you want to see when my next videos are coming out look back at my old videos you might find something you want to use and uh, I'll see you on the road you guys ride safe